Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Have you ever thought that the most critical equipment for chip production in the world is actually in the hands of a company you may not have heard of? Waterproofing is more important than underwear. Chips rely on lithography machines, and the number one player is ASML from the Netherlands. What is surprising is that this company not only monopolizes the world's most advanced lithography market, but has also been severely backstabbed by the United States recently. Not only does it have to listen to the United States and not sell its core technology to China casually, but it also secretly supports its own companies to engage in research and development, stabbing ASML. How important is the lithography machine? Simply put, without it, the chip industry will be paralyzed. ASML holds the lifeline of the world's most advanced chip production, especially its EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography, equipment, which accounts for 100% of the global supply. Chip giants such as TSMC and Samsung are all its loyal customers. Let alone other things, the mobile phone in your hand, your laptop, the car chip, and the brain of the smart home appliances at home are all carved by ASML's lithography machine. But at such a critical moment, a storm came, and it was because of family affairs. The United States passed the so-called CHIP Bill, which not only restricted the export of domestic semiconductor equipment, but also formed a three-party alliance with Japan and the Netherlands to play a blockade war, specifically targeting the Chinese market. And ASML is one of the biggest victims. ASML originally hoped to maintain stable trade with the Chinese market. After all, who doesn't like big customers? But the United States put pressure on it to stop selling the most advanced EUV lithography equipment to Chinese semiconductor companies such as SMIC. The matter is not over yet. Everyone thought that the most advanced EUV tube was just a tube, but the horrible thing is that the United States also banned the export of immersion DUV lithography machines. Although DUV is behind EUV, it is still indispensable for chip manufacturing at technology nodes such as 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers. And the photolithography machine is not something you can buy just because you have money. ASML's annual shipments are limited, and the supply side is completely a seller's market. Can you imagine how anxious it is? Faced with pressure, ASML had to go to the United States to compromise. The United States made the final decision. There was no way to leave China's lucrative market first. But when ASML gradually reduced its exports, an unexpected good show came on stage when she turned around. The United States not only did not help her to protect the market and profits, but also stabbed her back. At the end of 2022, the United States suddenly announced in a high-profile manner that it would invest heavily in 825 million US dollars to jointly develop its own EUV photolithography machine with applied materials. You know, EUV photolithography machines are not simple machines. Why can ASML monopolize this thing? The United States has long been unwilling to accept it. Since you are so awesome, why don't I give some money to my own people and let Applied Materials and other companies work with you? Once this matter was released, ASML was so angry that his face changed. Talking about cooperation with me, turning around to do it yourself. The United States is a bit of a joke. In particular, foreign media could not stand it any longer and angrily criticized the United States for stabbing them in the back too quickly. Before ASML, the innocent victim, had dealt with the matter properly, the United States was already rushing to open up new markets. This betrayal directly pushed ASML to the edge of global competition. China is not sitting still. Having said that, SMIC signed an order with ASML as early as 2018 to buy an EUV lithography machine, but it was delayed in delivery due to US interference. SMIC had no choice, 
but to work hard on independent research and development with its own hands, otherwise this road would be completely cut off. How ironic is this world? Obviously, the contract has been signed and the money has been prepared, but the equipment is not given to you. If you are impatient, you will really smash the table. SMIC has indeed had a lot of ups and downs in recent years, but as a top domestic chip manufacturer, it knows better than anyone. If you want to hold your head up in the global market and not be strangled, you have to have your own ability. Moreover, SMIC is not only preparing for war in China, but also gradually expanding cooperation abroad, seizing every opportunity to maintain normal production and operation. After all, once the chip production work is stopped, the loss is not a small matter. At the same time, SMIC has also increased its investment in chip equipment research and development, and actively cooperated with other domestic companies in technology. As the external technology blockade becomes more and more stringent, their response measures are becoming more and more tough. The United States is holding the chip banner to engage in a tripartite alliance, and Japan, South Korea, and others have also responded positively, but are the allies really willing to act according to the United States' wishes? Not necessarily. South Korea, such as Samsung and SK Hynix, are the world's major chip foundries. Now they have to rely on ASML's lithography machines to continuously improve the process. Once the supply chain is cut off, South Korea will also be uncomfortable. On the surface, they may be catering to the United States, but what about behind the scenes? Do you think they will not secretly strengthen their own research and development? Japan is even more of a model of looking ahead and looking back. On the one hand, it has to cooperate with the United States, and on the other hand, it is stepping up its domestic layout in chip design and manufacturing. Japan knows very well that it will never work just by importing equipment. To this end, they are also accelerating the construction of communication channels with China, Japan and other countries involved in semiconductors to avoid being shut out in the future. The US approach may bring some advantages to itself in the short term, support local manufacturing industries, and establish a self-circulating system, but what about in the long run? The unbalanced global supply chain cannot be separated from the huge Chinese market. Moreover, this backstabbing of ASML has further disrupted the surface of the global semiconductor industry. The knife hanging over the head may fall at any time, which means increased uncertainty and risk in the supply chain for the global semiconductor industry. The world has never lacked competition, but this open and secret struggle in the chip industry is gradually escalating into a fight between spear and shield in the global technology field, cooperation and blockade. Can the final winner really be monopolized by one country? I'm afraid no one dares to give this answer.